and then good evening everybody <laughs> it's probably only about the third time or so that I try to get this thing on I guess I didn't record any of my um, voice last time I tried to do this so I'm gonna try this one more time hopefully maybe this will work this time um, apologize for all the notifications I guess as far as uh, yeah, anybody that's following the channel uh, for the multiple, multiple notifications for <laughs> basically the same thing. Um, let's do this third time's a charm, I guess, at this point. So here we go. We'll go back into our track. Uh, this video is to uh, give some explanation as to how to use the reflap utility in NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Um, we're going into our, a track to which we want to edit LP files for. So we're in our track. And what we want to do to initially enable the um, reflap utility is by depress with the control alt shift tilde. Now that's a lot of keystrokes, but uh, that is how you enable it. And it shows up at the top left of the screen as far as in some red text dialogue and uh, we're going to turn on our working reflap which is the orange triangles this is where our um, lines will get stashed as far as turning them on and off so we'll turn that on and we'll turn on the LP to which we're trying to adjust which is our min race LP for this particular track so we're going to go on to the track here and as you'll see, the orange cones um, refer to our working reflap, which is where all our stash lines will get saved to um, as, as we do this. The green uh, triangles there reflect the, the current min race LP that is laid out for this particular track. So there is another video that to which we have on the SPP uh, YouTube channel as far as the miscellaneous and how to's uh, to set up your wheel to apply stashing um, the alt R keystrokes I guess that are required for reflap to utility I guess to turn on, on and off stashing uh, for potential LPs so I won't go into detail with that I'll leave it at um, the discretion of the individual end user I guess to do that so with that being mapped to the wheel I'm just going to turn on the stashing to which you will have to have the working reflap uh, the, the working uh, line temp line uh, turned on in order to see your stashing and that is with the depress of the control tilde so you can see the yellow arrows being laid down that is the potential for and this particular line to which I am recreating as far as to lay down a new LP for the min race does not have to be done at speed. It can be done as slow as you like. Um, the only one that's really critical is the race LP to which that is the one that stores all the data uh, for your throttle, your throttle, your braking, your steering and all that, all that good stuff. So we're just going to take this nice and easy as far as laying down a new min race LP. And what we're trying to accomplish is to get uh, the ag cars uh, tend to be scrubbing the wall. That's a bit too much. So we found it finding it necessary, I guess, to lay down a new LP so that they don't do that. Now, between this min race LP and the race LP, uh, seems to be uh, the case where they're where they seem to be doing this so I'm gonna go around one more time and you can see the previous line that was stashed uh, laid down in the uh, initially uh, turn the stashing on so I can follow that line and kind of adjust as I go along I'm just gonna kind of take it easy as far as laying this line down it does not have to be at speed as I said for this particular LP. And we'll just go all the way back around to the start finish line and we'll turn the stashing off. And 
probably fair mention, I don't know if you can no, uh, notice it in the stream there, but at the top left corner it is actually showing its stashing data. It is actually stashing, you can see the, the, the physical triangles being lined, laid down, and as far as the data being shown in the top left of the screen. It's probably a little bit hard to see in the stream, I'm sure, but uh, it does give you information as, as to it's more or less just time spent laying it down. Okay, so we get the start finish line. We're going to turn off the stashing. As you can see, there's not laying down any more yellow triangles. And we can go back around and review and uh, observe, I guess, what the, the line that's been laid down. See, it's not too much of a difference, I guess, from the original. But if you find it satisfactory um, as far as to move the stashed yellow triangles into the working uh, temp line you want to press uh, your forward slash on your keyboard that'll move that over the yellow triangles will go away uh, which is normal and then if you want to save that you would do a control forward slash and it, the only information that it'll give in the top left is that it's been saved as reflap zero and these LPs will get saved in succession uh, from zero all the way to however many um, times you save uh, an, LP file, uh, an LP line. So, say for the sake of this video, uh, we wanted to make a race line LP. Now, keeping in mind, as I mentioned earlier, that the data that is stored in the race line LP includes your braking, your throttle response, all that steering all that so you want to have a decent setup applied in doing this step um, that's where the mapped button on your wheel comes in really handy so you don't have to move your hands off the, the wheel you can just push that button on your wheel and it'll turn the stashing on and off so I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to just do a mock controlled lap as far as racing to, uh, laying down a, a new race LP a nice controlled lap. Watching, paying really particular attention to how much throttle and braking that I'm using because you may or may not be able to hear me I guess with the, uh, over the engine noises. So One more time, just to kind of fill in the gaps as far as the initial stashing. Trying to follow the previous line as close as possible. Start finish line. I'm going to turn the stashing off, and I'm just going to kind of take another lap around to see exactly how that line was laid laid down before I move it to the uh, the working temp line, the orange line. Let's see where we ended up. Let's just see if maybe I may or may not need to redo it. And if I hadn't mentioned, I guess, uh, previously, uh, start of the stream, what have you, I uh, find it very much easier to do this method, this process, I guess, within the fire chase, so that you can see actually where. So, just for the sake of the stream, I'll say I'm satisfied with this line. I want to save this, so I'm going to forward slash. It moves the uh, working temp line. And then I'll save it as control forward slash and it shows up at the top left it's been this line has been saved as reflap one uh, these lines 
Now these reflap LPs that are saved right to the track to which in this case that we're um, in the Auto Club track that it, that we're in here and I'll show that. Right here we'll get out of the we'll get out of the sim here. Okay, and what we'll do now is look in our track. Give me one second. There we go. Uh, we'll go into the track to which uh, we were making these L new LPs for. And uh, you can see it saved a reflap zero, which was our new min race line, and our reflap one, which was our new race line, potentially. So what I'm going to do is back up the original min race. Well, I see, I already got one backed up here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. I've already got that min race renamed, so I'm going to do the reflap zero as a new min race. Okay, you definitely want to keep track of which uh, the new LPs that you uh, lay down and reflap, what, which ones are which as you're doing them, especially if you're going to do uh, multiple LPs in a particular reflap session. Okay, so this is going to be my new min race, and then the reflap 1 LP will be my new race LP, which, is, which essentially will translate into a new race line LP. It's essentially both the same. So we're going to back up our race LP and rename reflap 1 as race LP. Okay, so now we have those both now applied. You can now confirm back in the game that those are legit, and you can try those out with the AI at this point and um, see if they need any further adjustment. You just go back uh, to the initial steps uh, showed previously, I guess, to adjust them accordingly. And you can do this as many times as you, as you f feel like, I guess, to until you um, get some satisfactory AI results. So. Uh, <laughs> Third time's a charm, I guess, in trying to get this uh, this video done up. Hopefully, this will this will satisfy anybody that has uh, followed the channel. And uh, again, apologize for the multiple notifications. I guess for trying to get this this thing um, out there. Um, I, th I think it's something that would be fairly useful, as for people wanting to edit their own LPs uh, for better AI performance. So. Um, I hope this you find this uh, stream and uh, intern video useful, and uh, thank you for watching.